welcome back to these fight back today's video was the first appointment day after my holiday and my busy few weeks um and also a few snippets from a very exciting day morning it's breakfast time um every time i sort of watch back these videos i'm like i need to find a new way of starting them because i always just say good morning and then i was like maybe i should learn it in different languages um but i haven't yet so unfortunately today you're stuck with good morning um but i will try and do that for the next one um anyway yes breakfast time um i've had a really really crazy few days uh, but i'll go into all of that a bit later um today is appointment day it's the first appointment i've had for two nearly two weeks uh because we were away on holiday um and I'm fully expecting and really hoping to be able to move up to that hour long dog walk today. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. Um, I feel like things have gone well. Um, so yeah, I'll do a bit of an update later about what has been going on. Um, my big day yesterday. Um, but for now, breakfast time, I've got my teaspoon that says, you've got this. And yeah, I really quickly wanted to say, I'm absolutely freezing today. Um, so there is a chance at some point through breakfast, I'm gonna put my dressing gown on because we, um, it's freezing and we're not got the heating on. Um, so. I've been living in my dressing gown and I was like, I'm gonna try and stay in like a really, I love this pajama top, my little Dumbo pajama top. But I'll probably end up in my dressing gown, just a warm, also comfort. I love my dressing gown. <laughs> It has been another humongous week and it's only Tuesday. I'm gonna pop in really quickly what I did yesterday. So I started my exciting day in the best way. Um, breakfast, of course, had my full Weetabix um, with my banana and then my two slices of toast on thick bread um, with all of my spreads as always. I can't believe I'm about to go back in for my first day back at uni. Like, I can't believe I'm actually in a place where I'm able to do it, excited about it. I am nervous, but I'm also excited. But yeah, I'm literally going back into uni to do my final year. There are so many moments where I thought that I would never get to this place and I'd have to defer another year. But hard work, determination, consistency have paid off. Time to go back. This was my little outfit of the day, complete with positive socks, of course. Um, this was a really cute message that one of my friends sent me that really helped me that morning. Um, this was my completed outfit of the day. This was another cute message that one of my friends sent me. And this is me before I went in. I had my snack on the way home after my lecture, which was the Muscle Moose Salted Caramel Bar. Um, these are really, really nice. I'd say it's solid 8 out of 10. Then obviously still had my hummus sandwich um, with my crisps, corner yogurt and Nick's crunchy caramel bar. Um, this wasn't really supposed to be a what I ate in a day, but yeah, this is just some of the stuff I ate in the day. I um, had also um, a white chocolate mocha bar, my afternoon snack. Yeah, I think I'm just showing that, you know, you can have a new day, new challenges, but still stick to your plan and keeping on going. 
Um, obviously had my pasta for dinner with a yogurt and a couple of biscuits. Had a digestive and a fig roll. Excuse me looking a little bit scrappy. Um, but first day of uni has been done. I was only in front out today, so it wasn't too long. Um, yeah, I was very nervous going back because I realised I actually haven't been properly in for like two and a half years because COVID sort of curtailed my first year and um, second year was online. But yeah, I was reminded that I've, well, made to feel very welcome. Um, my uni really is fantastic. Um, and felt a bit wobbly since I got home, just, just overwhelmed, like, it's not good and not bad, well it is good, it's not bad, it's just, like, a lot of change, just a lot, um, going through my head, and also desperately trying to not press those same buttons that get me stuck, um, like, just, yeah trying to keep it calm this time um, and not let my perfectionist brain go over and trying to work out like the right amount of work to do. Um, but it was also really exciting because I love my course. So yeah, anyway, shower time and then appointment day tomorrow. So fingers crossed it all goes well. Just seeing as I've put most of what I ate the day already, I just thought I'd finish it off with, obviously, my night snack. Okay, back to appointment day. Yep, I had my first day back at uni. Um, and I went in with one of my best friends who has just been incredible the last year. Like, he's been beyond a best friend. And we're doing third year together. And we were waiting outside and he's like, Fee, think about where you were this time last year. And this time last year, I was like days away from being admitted to hospital. I think it's really not good. And I was like, I'm back at uni, I'm doing my final year. And that was a really, really nice moment. Um, anyway, appointment time. This was my little outfit of the day. These dungarees I got from Vinted and I love them. Um, this was, as always, my half-eaten apple. Um, I also tried this Trek peanut crunch bar. And I'd tried the Millionaire's bar a few days before. Um, basically, I didn't eat Trek bars because I thought that they were all flapjacks. And I really don't like flapjack. Um, but then someone was like, no, they're not all flapjacks. So anyway, I tried this Trek bar. I liked the Millionaire's one, but I didn't really like this peanut one. Just, it was too much nut. And I still just am learning the world of peanut butter and all that kind of stuff. Um, long way of me saying this wasn't as nice as the millionaire's one. I'd rate it a 5 out of 10. Um, after my appointment I had my wrap on the way home. Um, it was quite a long appointment. Um, then when I got home I had the rest of my lunch, um, had some mini cheddars, my um, next crunchy caramel bar and a yogurt. We ran out of corn yogurts so I had um, one of just the other yogurts we have. Um, yeah, the reason we only took just the wrap part of lunch is because we thought we were going to be home by lunchtime, but we ended up having quite a long appointment, um, and I thought it might be a long one, so I said to mum, well, why don't we just take the wrap part and then we can have the rest when we get home. So that is exactly what we did, and it worked out as I thought it was going to work out. It is afternoon snack time, and I have a very serious afternoon snack today. It's called Serious Cinnabon. <laughs> I don't know why it's serious, but basically white chocolate, cinnamon kind of thing. Um, it's one of their like limited edition ones, which is why the colours are like a different colour packaging. Um, and they're really, really hard to get hold of. Um, so I managed to get a couple. So I'm rationing them because they're really tasty. But yeah, have an app my afternoon snack. I so rarely let myself have these and I forgot how good it was. Um, so it's like super, super, super thick white chocolate. Then it's got like a layer of like, I don't know, raisiny stuff. Um, and then the whole thing's like infused with cinnamon. It's kind of, I guess, a bit like a hot cross bun flavoring kind of thing, but not a hot cross bun. Terrible review this, I am really sorry. Um, but yeah, I would rate it a good eight out of 10. After my snack, I took my little puppy dog to the vets, which went really successfully, actually. 
I am only just getting around to doing this update because I've had a bit of a full on day because obviously had my appointment, then got home and then did some work, um, then had snack, then took to the vets. Um, so yeah, it's just been a busy day, but I did want to do an update because it was a very good appointment. I have made it to be able to do um, the hour long dog walk if I want to. Why is the hour long dog walk so important to me? Because it's what I always used to do. Um, it's my peace time. Um, we, I always, I've got like a few routes around here and they're not exactly an hour, but they're just that kind of length. And we always just used to do them. We used to have good chats and yeah, for me, like this is a real marker in like being back at that fee that I once was, where I was really doing okay. And knowing that this time in my recovery, I'm going to get to that point or I've got to that point, but I'm going to keep going this time and ensure that I don't have what's happened this last year happen again. And I'm going to do that by not plateauing, um, not settling for just kind of living but still having those sort of eating disordered thoughts and negotiations um yeah i'm gonna push through this time and keep on going but reaching that point has been really important to me and it feels really good that i managed to get there despite obviously like the holiday was fantastic but there was a lot of routine changes and a lot of things that i could have found really difficult and instead of allowing those changes to throw me backwards, I actually use them to springboard forwards. Um, so yeah, it was really, really good. The other good news is I have moved out of the red risk pile into the amber risk pile. Um, and that's been a long time. That's been like a year. So that's a big step forward as well. Um, we spoke a lot about uni today because um, obviously I had my first day yesterday and yesterday was actually quite a light day. Um, I've got my sort of heavy days at the end of the week, um, which I'm a bit nervous for. I just need to find a way of managing energy levels, food, um, but we're going to we're going to write a plan, going to stick to the plan. Um, and yeah, it was. A very long session today, my poor nurse, but it was a really good session. It really, really helped me. I was struggling. I wasn't struggling. I was, or well, mum said I was very quiet. <laughs> and that's just because I was processing a lot. But it helped to talk it all through. Oh, and another good thing that happened, we're reducing my weigh-ins. Because um, things have been going well, consistently in the right direction. Um, so we're moving down to fortnightly weigh-ins, uh, which is also really exciting. Um, and yeah, I had a bit of a moment where I realised where I was this time last year and where I am now. And obviously, like, I didn't, I wasn't making my YouTubes this time last year. Um, I was in a very, very dark place. I was about to be admitted to hospital. And obviously what ensued, um, you can go back to my earlier videos and see that. Um, what I'm trying to say is I fought really hard to be in the place I am. And I doubted myself if I'd get here. Other people doubted me. And what I can say is I made it. And I'm doing this in a consistent, sustainable way that is going to see me fully get better. And I'm going to keep going, keep going, especially now. I've got too much to lose now. Um, so yeah, the next few weeks for me are going to be about like consolidation and just keeping things steady whilst there's so many like external changes. Um, there is a possibility I might need to do another meal plan change, but we're going to see how things go. Um, 
but yeah, right now I'm gonna go and make some dinner. Pasta, sausages, my favourite, tomato basil pasta sausages, uh, frank feta sausages, um, and then yogurt and biscuits. And yeah, I'm proud of myself. And I hate saying that, and I say it and I don't believe it a lot of the time that I am. But I also want to say that I couldn't have done this by myself. So those people that consistently leave me such kind comments, send me such lovely messages, and those people that are in my life that I just have kept me going this last year. Thank you. Right, dinner time. I had my favourite dinner. I had pasta with tomato basil sauce and frankfurters and then I had yogurt with a couple of biscuits afterwards. After dinner I did more of my paint by numbers which I'm getting so close to finishing, I'm absolutely loving this one. Um, then I had my night snack and I wanted to finish this video on this quote. 